creator showed me the hawk. There are times when creator will send you messages and he sends them through the animals. He sends them through mother earth. When you see a hawk, a lot of times it might be when there's a rough patch going on. <clears throat> but the hawk represents that there is good to come. I saw the hawk recently and the hawk was a message to stay optimistic and the better stuff are to come. And I'm... I think Mother Earth is hurting right now. I think Mother Earth is off right now. Our seasons don't seem right. I started noticing this about late 2003 when I remember when I was a kid, we had our typical seasons. We had the three months of each season. They kind of hit when they were supposed to. It was about 2003. I noticed our winters are even almost starting in October and November. Our summers will run late, and then we'll have two or three weeks of fall, and then it's almost like it immediately goes into winter. People say it's an Ohio thing, it's Ohio weather, but I don't remember it always being like that. <laughs> Same thing with our spring. You know, it comes late, and then it comes, what, May 5th, and it's already 80 degrees? Now, people will tell me, Tim, it's supposed to be hot right now. It's May, or it's November, or it's the beginning of December, and it's supposed to be like this. <clears throat> winter does not start until the winter solstice. This is December 21st. This is the shortest, basically, daylight-wise, this is the shortest day you have daylight. Winter is not supposed to start till then. Yet we're seeing days at the end of October where it's like 20 degrees. We, it seems like with the um, seasons of um, fall and spring, we only see two or three weeks of that, and immediately... I almost feel there's something going on within the atmosphere of Mother Earth that we're going to lose spring and fall. There's a lot of things we've done to Mother Earth. Same thing goes for when spring finally hits. I notice every year we get to about May 5th, May 6th, and it's 80, 90 degrees. It may be back and forth a little bit, but that's the majority when it changes. And people are like, Tim, it's May, it's supposed to be hot. You know, it's June, it's supposed to be hot. Summer does not start until the summer solstice. This is June 21st. This is when we have the most sunlight of the day. I don't know what, but I can feel that Mother Earth's hurting, and the animals can feel that Mother Earth is hurting. Animals are very in touch with what's going on. You can recognize patterns within the animals to kind of see what's going on, because they're aware and they can feel, especially the hawk. The hawk can feel Mother Earth. The sun up there, the sun is sacred. When the sun hits certain points, even certain trees, and certain sacred spots within the earth, for one, the pyramids of Egypt, even the moon, when the moon and the sun align with the tops of these pyramids, there's a sacred within these pyramids. And when the sun and the moon aligns with them, it creates this energy. This energy that spreads, it starts there and it spreads throughout the world. There are very sacred points. There are even certain sacred trees, monuments, structures. And even when you look up to the clouds, that's a painting right there. That is creator giving a painting. You look up at that and that makes you feel better. To actually right now see clouds. The earth is like a painting. The earth is a creation given by creator. And I trust in creator. I trust creator will take... There may be rough patches, but that's to learn and to grow. I trust and believe in creator. <clears throat> now on to other things. 
probably about November, I went kind of went back into an isolation. I may kind of be coming out of that right now. There's some stuff that happened in November that I shut out everyone. And I felt like that's what I needed at the time. To completely stay in contact with people permanently and always, that's not healthy for me. But to stay in isolation too long, that's not healthy for me either. This time last year, I was definitely more active with people and seeing people and trusting people. Even right now, I'll tell you what, I have I, I don't trust people. I'm very paranoid of people. And it's been like this all my life through experiences I've had, being uncomfortable around people and not trusting people. And even at the age of five, thinking people are out to hurt me, that everyone's out to fucking do stuff to me. And maybe some people are, but some people aren't. I don't know. It's that mystery that keeps me away from people. <clears throat> now, this time last year, I was definitely a little bit more trusting of people. The problem that time was, was I let everyone in. And I wanted a clean slate with everyone and to get over stuff and move on from that and have a clean slate with everyone. That's not a good idea. Certain people stay in your past for a reason. And it's not a disrespect or a hate thing, but when I'm in association with certain people, that's not healthy for me. And I don't think it's healthy for them either. I want to slowly start trusting people again, but I want to do it right this time. Not everyone's going to have a place in my life. Slowly, people I do trust. And if they don't want a part of my life again, that's fine. I accept that. I even said a year ago, you know, people got to, I got to do what I got to do, and you got to do what you got to do, and I understand that. But ultimately, I have to make sure things are right for me, because if I'm in a state that makes me uncomfortable, it's not going to be healthy for me. People I feel right in my life, I want in my life. Other people, I have to move on from that. <laughs> And there's still this fear of trusting people. Something happened in November that, I don't know, it. I quit trusting people again. And I thought everyone was out to hurt me. And I still kind of feel that. I still feel right now within the town I live in, there are people that would fucking kill me right now. People, There are people that are just waiting for that. What's the problem is, is I don't know who those people are and who those people aren't. I feel I've been hunted a lot, a lot in my life. And that's definitely drawn me away from people. I'm not the easiest person to be around. I have an erratic... I have an erratic self. A lot of that is because of being uncomfortable and not trusting people. I'm not everyone's cup of tea, and I understand that. But I gotta say, a lot of people aren't my cup of tea either. Taking things slowly and not just throwing myself into situations. Like I said, I don't trust a lot of people right now. I'm paranoid of a lot of people. That people are plotting shit. And this kind of all goes back to the whole schizotypal lifestyle. Schizotypal is not something I've really talked about recently. It's what got me... What got me onto YouTube in the first place was watching other schizotypals. And that gave me the courage, and they inspired me. I felt like I took that topic as far as I wanted to take it. And it's good to recognize who you are. But it's schiz like even like the label schizotypal, that's not something I want to dwell on forever. I am a schizotypal individual, but I don't want that to define me. I'm a borderline personality individual. Obsessive compulsive bipolar. Four labels they fucking gave me, and I'll tell you right now, the mental health industry's not something I fucking trust. They got this new medicine out, and they want you to take it. It's like they you tell them about the side effects, they won't even listen. You could be bleeding out of your ass, so you're about to die, and they're just like, shut the fuck up and take your meds. As I learned in this one LifeWell program, the first time I came out of the psych ward, 
and I was in this bullshit program. They didn't want to listen to anything you had to say. Shut up and take your meds. You're a social security number in this country. You're a fucking number. And then I look up at those clouds and that painting and all of that goes away. I don't want labels like that to define me. Anything to really define me. I am what I am. I may have for a long time been a very paranoid individual within this, within this earth. And I gotta set my settings right so that I'm not that way. I gotta paint my own environment so that I'm comfortable. And I can trust who I need to trust. And just live my life to what I need to live it to. There's still a lot of stuff I wanna do. And I just keep looking up at those clouds. And I'm gonna paint my life as beautiful as those clouds I see in the sky. <laughs>